Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but like the dark version. I kind of miss the happy Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It's like Will Smith is learning what a YouTuber is by becoming a YouTuber. West Philadelphia, born and raised. Mm. This is a game. This, this is a good one, though. This is not a game, Will. Look at you. I don't know what Look this is at, at all. Is that embarrassing that I don't? Look at you. I need to turn this up. Hold on, it's getting good. The only reason why you're not in jail is because Uncle Phil called in a favor. First things first, recipes Uncle Phil. This is a real live action, serious version of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Is this like the intense so easy. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but like the dark version? I haven't seen this yet. I've never Don't seen it. this. Oh, LeBron. So easy. Okay. Ooh, you done messed up. You throw this? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. You're stupid. Oh, no! Is it fan-made? It's pretty good, it's good quality. Oh, no! You are carrying a gun on the streets to protect yourself? This is, like, very real. To protect yourself? It's West Philadelphia, Mom. I've done my best will. This looks like a good movie. I've never heard of it. You're going to Bel Air. Going to Hollywood. Your and your auntie. Bel Air. Out of all places. This oh, is this like a modern version with like iPhones and shit? Will, I will not bail you out again. I love this. This and is this, this house, is I'm not This Uncle is to Bill. me how you reboot something. I'm not Uncle Bill. I'm the law. Oh, it's getting serious. We all forget how dramatic the plot of Fresh Prince actually is. You've got to be responsible for yourself. So, Will, what brings you to Bel Air? I uh, caught with a gun. Okay. We cut straight to the point. How are we related again? Carlton. He's from the street. I don't know. I don't like it. I hate when people try and like redo something. Just a little time and a little love. We are what he means. Why don't you go back to Philly? Born and raised, right? You think I would ever want to be in this life? I'm not it's so crazy because I feel like this is like so relative to nowadays. Yo, you must be from Philly. Yeah. What's up, man? I'm Will. Jazz. Good old Jazz. Yeah. <laughs> D DJ Jazzy Jeff, let's go. Wait, is Will Smith gonna be like, is he gonna like show up at all? They got you out there? All right, Philly. It's very dramatic. I don't know. It's like, you know. I kind of miss the happy Welcome Fresh Bel Prince Bel Air. <laughs> mm-hmm. Evolved handshake. I'm confused if it's supposed to be funny or serious. <laughs> Carlton? Yeah, Carlton dance. Uh. Oh, I love this. Wait, this looks good. Not even like having watched the show. This looks good. You can tell like whoever put this together, um, they were like definitely super fans of the show. This is how you do the reboot of Lifetime. That crown looks dope too. Yeah. At first I actually thought that was Will Smith in the chair. Oh wow. I really like it. It took me a minute to like realize what it was and then I was like, oh my God, this is like based off of Fresh Friends of Bel-Air, duh. The story of the show, I never thought it would be turned into something so serious and like so real and I'm living for it. They walk the perfect line between nostalgia defining themselves and putting Easter eggs between the two. I think it's I think it's brilliant. I was very, very young when Fresh Prince was on, so I feel like I didn't like really get to enjoy it. I mean I know the basis of it, but just to see this now in like modern times and like it's already just so relevant to like what's going on in the world. So this was a fan made trailer. Oh that was a fan made trailer what? called Bel Air, which reimagines the 90s sitcom Fresh Prince of Bel Air as if it were happening today. Oh, I thought it was great. So cool. I love Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, it was like, I loved that show growing up. I think you have to wait a little longer than what, like 30 years to recreate something. So we'll talk more about the trailer in a minute. But first, the trailer actually caught the attention of Will Smith, who, as you probably know, starred in the original sitcom. Of course. And he recently posted a video titled, How I Really Feel About the Bel Air Trailer on his own YouTube channel. <laughs> oh boy, of, of course. course he did. That YouTube star. Yeah. So that also went viral, and we have that to show you now. All right, cool. Ooh, okay. Monetize that, Will. I saw this uh, 
trailer. That's the guy. Uh, he brought him on. Morgan Cooper hooked up. That's sick. Bel Air. This is the first time that I heard something. I was like, yo, that's that's an idea that is brilliant. Damn, that's so cool. So how did that idea come to you to do that? Well, you know, I grew up watching the show. You know what I mean? It's something that you know, since I was five. Same here. He is crapping his pants right now, talking to Will Smith right now. I remember driving out 71 in Kansas City, and I was just thinking about the show. And I remember driving under this overpass, and I, I always say I drove under it, and when I came out, I had the idea. That's cool. Yeah, That's kind of very, cool. like, you know, and I legendary. I Mike wrote uh, from the first season of Fresh Prince. As funny as the episodes are, there was a whole other layer that you couldn't do. Like, in a one-hour drama, you can do eight episode arcs. One hour, yeah, you can get a whole lot going on in an in a hour idea. drama, for sure. We get to go back to the beginning and start talking about my real experiences. For example, for me, I moved to LA and started The Fresh Prince and all of my friends started getting killed and going to jail. Wow. The escape that I made from it in real life was the escape that Will made mm -hmm. in the show. Those are was good I points, good points. It's really cool to see a whole different or was twist I do to the same story. Things. What's exciting to me is the new media of it all that you mm -hmm. put something on YouTube. YouTube! Right? You like just made a trailer, created something. I'm excited and inspired about that new way that human beings are interacting and ideas are getting created. It's like even to- It's like Will Smith is learning what a YouTuber is by becoming a YouTuber. Is, is Will Smith is like so with down with creators and YouTube and stuff like that, that if anyone were to get behind it, it'd be him. Morgan did a ridiculous trailer. Oh, he can vlog. Bel Did the cameraman have to somewhere to be? Where why is this on his phone of all of a sudden? Prince. Brilliant idea, the dramatic version of the Fresh Prince for the next generation. Are you gonna fund it or what? Will, we all know you can afford it. Please fund this. I hope they do something with this. I think it'd be great if they put like the hour of whatever that was, Bel Air, on YouTube. I'd watch it. As a youngin, um, I just, I kind of felt like the Fresh Prince raised me, you know? Like, I was an only child. I learned a lot from the Fresh Prince, and that's why, you know, it was such a big influence on me growing up, and, you know, uh, as a result, like, Will Smith was such a big influence on me. That's why I, I named my, like, stage name after the Fresh Prince. My poem is called, uh... Top clock <laughs> by Raphael De La Ghetto. I was just always just trying to, trying to be like Will Smith. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about the Bel Air trailer that you watched first. What did you think about that? I thought it was great. I thought it was really cool. I think it um, brought in a lot of current topics too. I loved it. I'm shook that it was a fan-made trailer. I literally thought that this would be a real movie. Smart idea. I mean, you know, you could take something original and then just flip it upside down. So that's a good idea and that's why it got the attention of Will Smith. I like that they kept the vibe of the, the show and just kind of like the heart of the show, but at the same time, you know, made it more realistic and, and took it to another level where maybe like you can't necessarily go with the comedy. That's the kind of love that you want to see in projects that Hollywood is not really investing in. And that to me is the right way to reboot something. Having that dramatic side to such a classic story and also having it be so relevant, it's just crazy to see that, you know, struggles that we were kind of facing a couple years ago are still so true to this day and it's kind of, you know, sickening and not great. We need to continue to show the messaging um, and the importance of just stories like those. The trailer has millions of views and stirred up a lot of conversation among fans of the original show since it reimagines the classic comedic sitcom in a very different way. So what is the fact that Will Smith saw this and took the time to dive into this idea with its creator Kind of say about the power of YouTube. Huge. Oh my God, yeah. It's also so crazy thinking that Will Smith probably saw it because he's now part of the platform. Yeah. What? <laughs> now Will Smith's on YouTube? What do you mean? Fresh Prince to YouTube star. <laughs> I think it's cool. I think it's why I have a job. I shouldn't, but like, you know, power of YouTube. YouTube is like, like the biggest platform like at the time right now. And I think you could reach many audiences with that. It just goes to show like how powerful one idea and posting it online can be. Like the fact that Will Smith, who was in the show and is an icon, saw this trailer, then met with the people that made the trailer. Like that just goes to show how powerful the internet is. And it gives me a lot of hope, you know? Uh, Cause I, 
want to be a filmmaker eventually and work with like films. I'm so into new filmmakers and new actors and actresses to break through and create a new era of Hollywood. Social media and YouTube, you know, it's just like it's all full circle. And I think Will has always been so cool about like connecting with creators. He's all for the YouTube community, which is so cool. Celebrities and traditional Hollywood, they're starting to respect YouTube a lot more. You know, they're starting to realize that, hey, these kids, these young adults, they have power, they have an audience, they have a following. I love in classic Will Smith style, he's like, no, 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 I'm not gonna react to the video. I'm gonna fly homeboy out to Miami at the penthouse and we're gonna look over this beautiful scenic view and talk. Like, that's so iconic. People for the longest time have been downplaying YouTubers or content creators who create these big projects, right? Addy Shankar made those, uh, I think he made those Power Ranger projects and now he's making Castlevania on Netflix. Uh, he's working on the Devil May Cry series on Netflix. Back in the day, if like someone made a fan VHS and sent it to him, he would like not look twice, but because there's already fans of that, they're like, oh, I gotta get on this. I don't know why more people aren't. Like, it's 2019, like, why aren't they all doing this? I've made so many videos about people. I'm like, ugh, why aren't you like coming to me, you know? Like, let's do something together. I've been waiting for a long time for traditional media to finally start really recognizing YouTube as like a, a nice talent pool of people. I put in over 10 years of like YouTube content for people to just finally start to be like, oh, you know what? Maybe you guys do got something going on over here that's legitimate. And now to see someone like like Will and uh, other big companies really kind of take notice and pay attention to things that are popping online and giving them shine and opportunities is dope. Will Smith first started his YouTube channel back in 2017 and now has over 5 million subscribers. Oh man, if I got 5 million that quick, whoo, jeez. But then again, if I was Will Smith, I'm just gonna tell people I'm Will Smith's cousin then I'll be fine. Will Smith understands his power and he understands and respects the platform itself. And in an essence, he has been very involved and is consistent and actually just cares about the platform. There's so many people who came over to YouTube and tried to make a produced show out of it and something what they would put on TV and it flopped. And they were like, oh, I don't understand. Like YouTube is like, we're all like the young fans are like, why isn't this working? But I think he really embraced the essence of like what YouTube is and the creative control you have over it. And like that's why it's so successful. Many more traditional celebrities have YouTube channels now like Jack Black, Zac Efron, and obviously Will Smith, just to name a few. Jablinski Games is great, by the way. Jack Black's, Jack Black, you're, you're crushing it. So what do you think about traditional celebrities and how they're starting to focus more on their YouTube presence? Well, hello, money. Are we, is this a question? They're not on Instagram because they love it, guys. That's so cool that we're kind of, mixing the two of media and traditional together and kind of being together with it instead of being against each other or, you know, make a mock of the other. It's a different avenue to interact with fans. Maybe that's something that some celebrities felt like they had lacking. A lot of times they play these amazing characters that so many of the fans get attached to, but they don't really know the true them. Um, and I think Will Smith is like so incredible and so smart. And it's really cool to see this other side to him and his family on his YouTube. It's probably such a change for them to have full control of their content. Cause I'm sure if you you know grew up being an actor, actress, whatever, doing shows and movies, you're not used to being in the, you know, in front of the camera and behind the camera being like, oh my God, I can make whatever I want. We are kind of like the weird kids here on YouTube being YouTube creators. And we're really not taking that seriously a lot of times in terms of traditional or we're trying to like cross over to the traditional media or whatever. So I feel like it's so funny how now traditional media people are coming over to the digital space. I think that it's brilliant that YouTubers or that, that celebrities are breaking into YouTube. I think that YouTube in general should try and be more hands-on though with making sure that it's great to have celebrities on the platform, but to not forget about us guys who helped build the platform. Truth. So finally, like we said, different celebrities are using the platform now in different ways. Yes. However, in your opinion, would you consider these celebrities to be part of the YouTube community or do you think they're a different category? You know what, I'm gonna tell them the same answer that they try to tell us when we try to go on like the red carpet or whatever. They're just kind of like, oh, well, they're a YouTuber. So I'm gonna give them a little shade a tiny bit and be like, oh, well, it's just another celebrity trying to hop on the YouTube bandwagon. In my head, they're a different category. Yeah. Cause I'm like, oh, they're hot, like famous people. Just like, YouTube. we're not like, 
like we're YouTubers, we're not celebrities, yeah. you know? I think if they're like taking it seriously and like they're putting out videos and they're like, they're talking to like regular people, I consider them part of the YouTube community. I think, it, and I think it's great. That would be me starting a Vivo and then calling myself like Rihanna. No, like anyone can sign up for YouTube. They would kind of live more in the category that, you know, the late night shows kind of all live in where they like have YouTube channels that have videos that are kind of interactive, but it's more, it's, cl it's clearly like more done than a lot of like homespun YouTubers. They can be part of the YouTube community if they actually embrace all of its creators. You gotta be open to working with YouTubers and um, not just their actor friends who happen to be doing YouTube as well. To us, they're outsiders. And they can still exist on YouTube, they can still do their thing on YouTube, they can still cultivate their audience. But if they care about YouTube, they care about the community, and they don't wanna be laughed at every step of the way during YouTube Rewind, they would do a lot more to wanna work with guys like us who are putting in that work. They're kind of in a different category because they're kind of beyond well-established before YouTube. Like everybody knows who Will Smith is before YouTube, but he is a content creator and he is technically a YouTuber as well. But in the sense that he's already established, I feel like he kind of is in a different YouTube category than like traditional YouTubers. If you become a YouTuber, I feel like you're just signing up for like being in the community. So I think we all categorize in the same thing. I think that's cool if we, if we are categorized in the same thing as the celebrities. Will Smith having a successful YouTube channel doesn't affect my YouTube channel. If anything, the more people that are on YouTube, the more people are likely to see my content as well. I'm not gonna be mad at that. You know, there's there's money out there for everybody, there's views out there for everybody, so I'm not hating on, on the celebs. Thanks so much for watching this fresh episode of YouTubers React. Subscribe to all the YouTubers featured in this episode. Links are in the description. What do you think of the Bel Air trailer? Let us know in the comments below. Bye! Bye. Hey everyone, Lauren Producer here at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of YouTubers React. Make sure you check out all the creators who came and shot with us today. Their links are gonna be down there. Bye guys.